hello everyone welcome back to my channel i know that it's been a while it's actually been a month since i've uploaded a video and i'm just glad to be back on youtube i had to take a hiatus because i started running out of ideas and i just felt like the videos weren't flowing so now i have a million and one ideas so i shouldn't be disappearing again but i can't make any promises in today's video i need to go ahead and give y'all the month four and five update i'm gonna be talking about just how my budget is looking y'all are gonna be so impressed at the fact that i still have not touched any other income besides my savings y'all know i made it a goal to not spend any of my youtube money and now i have other streams of income from my other ventures and i still don't even use that money i will say that my updates are going to be a little bit different moving forward because of course I don't consider myself an entrepreneur though. I say I'm an investor because I really don't do anything. So I'm not working actively or anything. I don't know, but I will be letting you in on updates on my ventures and things like that. So y'all can kind of know what's going on, what's been up with me. So before we get into it, let me know in the comments, how have you all been? Anybody down with the flu? I'm just not getting over the flu. So I hope you all are doing okay. Just give me an update. How you feeling mentally, emotionally, financially? What's the latest? Also, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. Can y'all believe that we already have knocked down four months or like four and a half? So that's why I said I'm gonna go ahead and do the month five update because they don't look much different. But I will say, let me open my notebook because I don't want to miss anything. Let's first get into my life update. So as you all know, I took a break from YouTube, which I really needed. The sucky part of being a content creator is once you start growing your audience and your following, a lot of people, including myself, you feel pressure to always post, but I don't wanna just be consistent for the sake of being consistent. Like I actually wanna have good topics and I just decided to start a new segment on my channel. So I'll let y'all in on that. I wanna start doing little chats and just talks about random things involving, of course, finance, jobs, and things like that, the economy. But I decided I'm going to start doing like more chats and just giving my opinions. If you all have any topics that you're interested in me talking about, let me know in the comments. I will definitely write it down. But yeah, that's what I kind of want to do just to change it up. I don't want to be like a financial guru. I want to be more like a, I just want to talk sometimes. I don't always want to be like step one, step two, step three. You know what I mean? I don't know. But anyway, that's that. If I were to give month four and month five a title, the title would be focusing on myself. I've been spending a lot of time with just me. Um, I haven't been going out a lot lately. I haven't been dating. I don't really even hang out with my friends as much. I just been really spending time with myself because what I realized, I've been reading that book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. And he talks about how, you know, we don't really spend a lot of time with just us and our happiness and our joy comes from external things, friendships, um, you know, being busy and occupied with your career and all of that stuff. And I really thought about that. I'm like, dang, I think that's me. I look to things in the outside world to bring me joy, but I don't even really know who I am, right? Outside of, oh, I have the cars, I have the business. When I'm not doing business, which I told y'all with my ventures, I barely do anything. But when I'm not doing a YouTube video, when I'm not with my friends, when I'm not dating, I don't really enjoy just being alone to be honest and i'm not saying that in a way of like oh i need to be lonely but i'm saying it more in a way of like who is kiki without all that i don't know maybe i don't know if i'm making sense i hope so but yeah like i said i'm just trying to figure out who i am i'm just trying to really figure out who i am without all the extra right i will admit i feel that i've been low-key making my business and the things i have going on my personality Again, just being caught up in all the external. You know what I mean? So I caught myself because I'm like, Kiki, you know you're not even that girl. You don't even care about what people think about you. So why are you pushing yourself to show out? Anyway, that's enough of that rant. Oh, another thing is when it comes to my home situation. So if you are not familiar, I was house hacking with my mom and my sister. My sister rented out a room. My mom rents out a room. My mom has moved out. With her moving out, I'm gonna have to pay more in rent, which I've been prepared for this. You know, I knew that we weren't gonna always live together. And so now I'm gonna have to pay more and I'm ready to get back to work so I could start 
getting my savings back in order, getting my money back in order and get ready to pay more in bills. It's not going to be a drastic difference. It is going to be a difference, you know, when it comes to my budget. Now I'm getting to the point where I'm on my last month worth of bills, right? Because keep in mind, I had my bills that I couldn't pay in advance saved up. So like my mortgage, my spending money, things like that, I had in an account. So now it's down to just December stuff in my account because I already paid November's bills and it's kind of making me even though I have multiple streams of income, it's still just something about seeing your savings dwindle down to nothing. That just, it's a lot. It's overwhelming. I really am proud of myself that I was able to make it five months without going broke and without dipping into my other investments. So I did really good. I would say the key is keeping up with everything and making sure you monitor your spending, right? Because I already told y'all about month one where I messed up and spent so much money. But I really was keeping track of everything, keeping up with my cash budget, putting money on my credit card ahead of time, things like that. When I get to month six, I'll do a whole video on things that I would do over, things that I did wrong. Because there are some things that I did wrong, especially when it comes to like my retirement accounts and stuff. We'll talk, okay? When I do that, when I do my six month sabbatical video, I'll go ahead and do like a Q&A. So if you have any questions, you can let me know. If I don't know the answer, I'll find out. Aside from that, I will say that when it comes to my ventures, they're doing very well. YouTube, of course, the pay has decreased tremendously because I haven't been posting. So that's why I say that YouTube is not necessarily passive. It's really not. It's more active if you're not active you're not going to get paid or you won't get paid as much yeah so youtube still doing its thing then i have my other venture where i'm currently playing the bank and i have people financing two cars that i have so the one that my sister traded in which is the 2002 honda crv i get 200 a month from that so i just been saving that money up for next year that's gonna pay my car insurance i decided wait i wrote it down with the car financing biz yeah i'm gonna go ahead and save that money so it's 200 dollars a month for the honda crv 200 dollars for the 2016 honda civic so that's 400 dollars a month that i'm just saving up and eventually my sister is gonna raise the amount so she could pay the car off sooner but um with that money i am gonna use that to pay up my car insurance for the next period and then i'll just keep saving for the next six months like that will be what that money is used for. With the YouTube money that I saved up, that money is gonna be used for all of my expenses when it comes to my home next year. So all the bills that I have to pay, me and my sister are gonna be splitting it 50-50. I'll be using my YouTube money that I saved up for that. I will also be using the money that I make on YouTube because again, I'm not gonna be aggressively saving like I used to. I'm actually gonna spend my YouTube money next year. So I'll be using that for spending money, things of that nature. On top of that, I plan on getting, of course, the part-time job. I will also be using that money to spend and travel and stuff like that too. Now, Venture 2, I know it sounds like I'm gatekeeping. It's just that I'm new to this and I don't really know what I'm doing. The car thing has been doing very well. So this car that I'm in right now, the Kia, is going out for 30 days today. So it's just like the money keeps coming and it doesn't stop. Shockingly though, I'm gonna have to do a video introducing all of my cars so that y'all can see. And y'all gonna be shocked at which one makes the most money because I'm shocked and I plan on buying another one. But we're gonna talk about that in another video. Um, again, I'm not a coach. So I don't think I will ever be the person that's like gonna teach how to do this because again, I don't know what I'm doing and I just trust the people that I work with to handle everything. With that money, I'm not gonna just be using the money to pay down the cars aggressively, but I am gonna try to pay them down as much as possible so that I can refinance in two years. I will also be using the money to contribute the maximum amount to my Roth IRA. I'm not, listen, I know that people have their opinions about, oh, you need to get a traditional IRA for the tax benefits. I'm not going to do that. I'm team Roth. That's it. I don't want anything else but Roth. That is my investing strategy. And then also my home. I'm not, I'm not getting a traditional. I'm sorry. Sorry, my camera dropped, but I never want to go back to work full time ever again in this lifetime. And I won't have to looks like these five months off really did something to me. I'm never going back full time. So I will be working part time, but not full time. I will say with taking a sabbatical, I have been feeling this sense of I feel like I'm obligated to say yes to everything because I don't work and I'm working on that. So 
I really wanted to bring that up because I don't think I haven't seen anyone talk about this when you're unemployed it's not even people feeling that way it's you feeling like I should attend everything that I can because there's no excuse I don't work you feel like you should always show up for people but it is okay to say no and I'm learning that now because month three to month four I was busy doing every single thing attending every single thing and it's exhausting my goals for month six are to stay consistent on YouTube definitely want to do that I do want to start finishing my books like I'm still in the middle of the book that I'm reading now and I have not finished it it's been like three months so that's another thing I want to do I want to do more vacations and staycations like just get away from the house for a while I really need a change of scenery also for month six I will start job hunting to just see what's out there I do want to work at the mall I told y'all that before or a hotel so I am going to just start kind of filling it out and seeing how much people are paying it's been a long time since I have been job hunting I had the same job for five years and then I've been unemployed for six months so I don't know what the job market looks like I've been thinking about learning more about taxes now that I'm in business I want to learn more about just bookkeeping taxes accounting and stuff like that so I am thinking about taking a course or going to school or something I don't know I can literally do whatever I want to do which is great I think that's all I have to say. This video is probably long enough. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you follow me on TikTok. I am going to start doing videos like day in the life of a kind of sort of entrepreneur who doesn't do anything. Um, But I'm going to make sure it's interesting. So make sure that you all follow me on TikTok. I will see you all in the next video.